Well, hello again, everybody. Happy Saturday night. I uh, hope you're all having a great weekend. Welcome to another episode of Old Head Bangers Ball. Got to leave that distinction there. Um, so yeah, for those of you who are joining me for the first time, this is a uh, series of videos where uh, I watch music videos from the classic era of Headbangers Ball, which is from 1987 to 1994. So uh, anything goes from that period of time, and it has to have been shit that was played on Headbangers Ball, which if you even don't know that, that was a show back on MTV back in the day when they played music. I know, weird, right? Um, anyway, so without further ado, let's just fucking jump right into this weekend's show. All right, you know what time it is. Time for some thrash metal. Tonight, it's going to be a song from 1990 from a band called Laz Rocket. You may know them, you may not know them, but they were a Bay Area thrash metal band from the early 80s, around the time of all those other popular bands. Now, granted, in the beginning, their sound wasn't really thrash but by this point they were full-on thrash you can tell by their outfits <laughs> and so uh so tonight we're going to listen to the song Leatherface which is not even on an album by Laws Rocket it's on the soundtrack for the movie Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 Leatherface from 1990 and once again this is just a super fun video and it is a uh, lesson in how to dress if you are a thrash metal dude. I still follow those rules today. Here we go. First off, we got some jams. That's important if it's hot outside. Second up, <laughs> we have Tight black jeans tucked in to white high top sneakers. Obviously, that guy is not as hot as the gentleman before him. And of course, some sort of metal t shirt. You know, you can go crazy with that. I mean, it just feels so fucking good. I talked about it on the last episode. The thrash metal guitars and the beats kick in and it just feels good. Also, something I also miss, uh, I miss, first off, I miss big ass rock soundtracks to movies because that was a big deal back in the day. But also um, the idea of, of metal being associated with horror movies because around the late 80s, that was a big deal. If a horror movie was coming out that was worth a shit, it had some fucking metal and hard rock on the soundtrack. This soundtrack here is actually pretty fucking good. Sacred Reich's on there. Uh... There's a whole lot of good shit on there. I'd look it up. But uh, yeah, um, I missed that. There needs to be more big soundtracks, but I guess you would need cooler bands like this to be big enough to be on movie soundtracks. And I guess that's not a thing these days. Boo hoo. Let's continue. As I nail you down, swing it. Oh, 
Oh, they don't do that yet. Oops. So as much as I love the thrash metal beats and, and riffs, when that halftime thrash metal shit comes in, oh lord. That's good shit. I didn't have anything to say for the whole <laughs> last part of that song because sometimes you just gotta let a kick-ass metal song play out. So uh, yeah, there you go, Laws Rocket. Um, look them up. Um, yeah, that's that song is only on the soundtrack for uh, Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre Three, which is not on vinyl. It makes me sad. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to the last song of the night. All right. Last video of the night is also from an album that I do not have on vinyl. I gotta do something about this one though. This song is from a band called King's X. And uh, King's X is an amazing sort of progressive, uh, that's a weird word to use with them because it's not progressive in the way that you would think, but it's like, it's a hard rock metal-ish stuff that just is boundary pushing. It's. Uh, and it's and it's such great songwriting, such great performing. They're an amazing band who, for a little while earlier in their career, actually lived here in the city I live in now, Houston, Texas. In fact, if you look at a couple of their album art, you'll see uh, the the skyline and other stuff from Texas um, included. Uh, fun little tidbit if you live here. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, the song we're going to listen to uh, tonight is actually from, I believe, their fifth album, uh, which is called Dog Man. And the song is called Dog Man, and it came out in 1994. And so it's got that big old 90s rock sound to it, but it's also probably when the band started to get a little heavier, uh, their other stuff does have heavy parts and there's some riffs that, you know, easily could be called metal riffs, but 
Um, all of a sudden, they got this sort of heavy groove thing going with this album. And this song is just fucking killer. If you don't know King's X, uh, here you go. Congrats on your first time. Dog Man. want to stop this fucking song this song is so fucking good and if you saw at the beginning of the video this is from some other video show from somewhere it's the only version of it i could find it's weird like i want to live in a world where badass music videos are just already available in perfect form crisp clear audio and video right there i can dream but yes, King's X. I mean, what can you say about this fucking song? It's so good. It's got a great fucking groove. But also, uh, the music video, very 90s. Got a, lot of, got a lot of shadows and a lot of flashing lights and quick cuts. You know, that, that shit was really big in the 90s. And um, I think when I first saw this video, that was the one thing that I thought was kind of lame. Because I already really loved King's X. And I'm like, oh, do you guys really need to jump into the 90s thing? Rush did it too. Because Rush put out a video, what was the song for? Uh, Stick It Out was the song. Um, we may watch that at some point because that was also on Headbangers Ball. But it was the same thing where it's like, you guys don't need to do the 90s thing. You guys are already a fucking killer band. But in hindsight, watching this particular video, I'm like, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Kind of goes with the song really well. So uh, enough of me, more King's X. Also, Doug Pinnock, <clears throat> the uh, vocalist. I love his voice. Amazing voice. He's one of those vocalists. There are some vocalists that I feel like they're the ones that if I could sound like anybody, I would want to have a voice like that. Just big, soulful, strong, powerful. I don't know. Dude could fucking sing the phone book and I'd fucking listen to that shit. So here's a good example of King's X being the kind of odd band that they are. It's like this big heavy groove song cuts into this midsection, which is Beatlesque, I guess. Um, it, they it, they always threw in those elements that I would call Beatlesque because at the time there was very there wasn't a lot to compare it to with that style. I think even today it just comes across as something from um, from from rock and roll days past. 
and they uh, bring it in with their sound. I can just go on about this band all night long. They fucking rule. So there you have it. King's X, Dogman. How can you not fucking move while that song's on? Um, yeah. Killer song. I don't even have much more to add to that one. It's just a really <laughs> good song from a really good band. Um, so yeah, that's it. A, another Saturday night has come and gone, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. For those of you uh, who are curious, Yes, I post these videos every Saturday night at about 10 o'clock central. So I don't know what that relates to in your part of the world. But hopefully you can uh, watch it right when it comes out. And, uh, you know, crack a, a beer, which, uh, you know, here's mine for today. This is Einstock Icelandic White Ale. It's pretty good. Anyway, so uh, that's all I got for this edition of Old Head bangers ball thank you for watching keep your comments coming down below please like please subscribe uh suggest videos uh you know just keep the conversation going uh thank you for watching and i will see you all again next week bye